Dr. Suv actually answered the question, is anyone here a doctor, what happened? I was on a flight recently, and a woman started, having a seizure in the route ahead of me. I'm not a medical doctor, but when they asked, if there was a doctor on board literally 7 or 8 people came forward at the same time including the guy sitting next to me. Apparently there was a pediatrics conference, that they were all going to. It was a really interesting situation to be in, especially since several of the doctors had different opinions on what to do, and the flight attendants were trying to help, but also crowd control all the opinions, mostly because there were some things legally, that they couldn't do. The lady having the seizure was fine in the end, and they had people ready, when we landed to check her out further. Are you a doctor? Yes, I hold a doctorate in Iberian history. Actually it's funny you say that. I have a doctorate in material science and I used to joke, that I wish someone would ask, is there a doctor in the house, so I could reply. It's slightly less funny in the actual moment. The usual not me, but a friend a mate had recently graduated vet school, and was working at a veterinary practice. Officially, he was now a doctor. So he thought he'd take his new title for a spin when booking a flight. During this flight, an announcement comes over the PA, if there are any doctors on board, please come to the front of the aircraft. He started to worry. The announcement comes up again in a minute or two. If there are any doctors on board. Of course, they had a passenger manifest with a drive on it, and were giving him the opportunity to come up himself. The announcement came over the PA again, a third time. After another moment, he's approached by a stewardess, and she asks excuse me sir, are you doctor name? Yes, we have a medical emergency at the front of the plane, can you attend? Not really, I'm a vet. There were no further announcements requesting a doctor. Never again did he use his doctor title unless necessary. No a doctor and I don't remember, if the question was asked, but relevant. My dad just got remarried to a woman who's been a family friend for ages and actually worked as a nurse with my grandmother before she retired. Stepmom actually owns own practice now one day she was flying back home, and was walking through the airport to her connecting flight when an old man in line at a gate just suddenly keeled over, and fell to the ground. She hurried over, and tried to revive him, but once the medicals arrived, they shocked him a few times then pronounced him dead. This guy literally just died on his feet waiting at a gate. Worse, when she finally got home, she checked in on her elderly mother, who had been having health problems in the dining room. She was face down on the table in the middle of eating dinner. Fortunately, she was able to revive her, and get her to a hospital and she lived a few more weeks before passing. Swear to Christ this is completely true. Cousin's wedding. Family member flew in from South America, had a heart attack, and was no pulse. Dentist guest began CPR. Doc guest relieved, and ambulance showed up. Pulse was weak, but he was alive. Doc rode to hospital. Wedding reception continued. Family member flew home, and was still alive years later. That's amazing. The survival rates of out of hospital cardiac arrest are very very low. My dad must be one lucky son of a bitch, then. If he survived it, yes. CPR has, if my memory serves me well, around a 10-12% success rate. Obviously way better than the 0% success rate of doing nothing, but it's not a magical cure, like you see in movies. I don't know about anywhere else, but in the UK, any medical doctor must answer that question. If they don't, they may find themselves in trouble. Not really an answer to the question, but just a contribution. What if they're intoxicated? Do they have to be like I am, but I can't do a thing right now? Probably just puts them at the bottom of the queue of medical professionals. I'd much rather have a moderately sloshed doctor making badly qualified decisions about my life, when I'm non-responsive in the middle of a trans-Pacific flight than Karen the anti-vax Instagram influencer. Just put some lavender oil on it. Whoa, his chakras are fading, you're gonna need some crystals. Would having an intoxicated doctor be better than no doctor? Transatlantic flight from Paris to SFO. Women developed a headache, while watching a movie with her husband. Starting having seizures, vomiting and urinary incontinence. Took her to the back of the plane, and tried to work the problem, while we diverted to Goose Bay Labrador. Her and her devastated husband got off, and were medevaced to St. John's where she died.
our flight couldn't leave, since we had used all the medical supplies which every flight needs, so we had to wait till supplies arrived from another United Serviced Airport. Perhaps an aneurysm, so not much we could have done. Oh my gosh this is so so tragic. Gotta wonder if the decrease in pressure caused it to happen to a weakened artery or vein capillary in her brain. My mom's a doctor, once I was getting the tube with her, and we heard over the intercom, if there is a doctor in the station, can you please come up to group level, and my mom just takes me, and we skedaddled up to the station in trance. Some guy had slipped back going up the escalator and smashed his head open, my mom and some others helped get him off the escalator and onto the main station floor where my mom started treating him as best she could, an ambulance arrived like 2 minutes later, so my mom didn't get a chance to do much, we then had to go into a pret, so my mom could was the blood off her hands, because the underground didn't let her use their staff toilets it. Was kinda weird to see her just zoom into action. I was attending a PhD thesis defense of a friend of mine. In France, the defense consists of a 45 minute presentation from the candidate, followed by one or two hours of questions from the jury. Sometimes, the president of the jury may or may not, totally his her discretion ask, if anyone in the audience, has a question to ask. There is however a requirement, to already have the rank of doctor. So, the president asked in there a doctor in the audience with a question? Since I received the title the week before, I jumped on the occasion, and asked a smart question we talked about before. Oh, I'm a doctor in electronics BTW. I happen to be at the scene of a horrific accident. Somebody screams out, is anybody a doctor? I say, yes, yes I'm a doctor. A jurist doctor. I then tell the victim's spouse, to think long and hard, before she calls for an ambulance. Her case will be worth substantially more, if her husband dies. If I hadn't been there, to help she could have lost millions. Bravo from Lionel Hutz, attorney at law. Lionel Hutz, the law talking guy. I know it's a joke, but if had lived, and was no longer able to work, they would be awarded a lot more, than if he died. My wife responded to this on a flight with a Middle Eastern carrier, a passenger had collapsed on the flight. The crew would not let her see the patient, demanding her doctor's card first. This is not something the UK General Medical Council produces. Eventually, when no other option was available, my wife convinced them she is in fact a doctor, and was allowed to check the passenger. He turned out to be diabetic and hypoglycemic, so quickly resolved, and a complete anticlimax. No, there was no special treatment for being a doctor or assisting, and the crew didn't even say thank you. It happened to my sister on a flight when someone passed out. She in OBGYN responded as did a radiologist. And a nurse also came up to see if she could help, which my sister appreciated, since it had been a long time since medical school. I think it ended up not being serious, but she went back to her seat after assessing that the patient wasn't in labor or in need of a pap smear. Did she have her pap smear instruments with her in her carry-on? It's 8 folks, I have my speculum. My husband is waiting to start his residency. Last week we were on a train when all of the sudden an older woman started screaming that her husband needed a doctor. He was apparently having a heart attack, so my husband did whatever doctor stuff he was supposed to do, and paramedics met the train at the next stop, and we got off, so he could quickly talk to them, and then we walked an extra stop to our destination. It was one of the sexiest things I've ever seen. My poor over has just wanted more babies. I wasn't the doctor, but the person who needed one. So we were on the beach playing football and a fell while running. I hit my arm at the right angle and it broke. So I got carried over to a chair and my mom asks, if there's a doctor. This guy comes over saying has a doctor. He asks for a magazine and hair elastics. He wraps it around my arm to make some sort of a brace I guess. Then the ambulance arrives and the rest is history. I was in a high school auditorium for my son's orchestra recital and somebody burst into the side door and said, I'm sorry to interrupt but, is there a doctor in the house? A woman had collapsed in the lobby of the performing arts center. About 10 people immediately got up and went out to see to her. I found out later from my son that it was a mix of many different emergency services personnel as well as physicians. She was ultimately okay. One guy looked like he was unconscious. His friend asked if anybody here was a doctor. 
I answered with I am. He then proceeded to reply with well, you're a nerd. Him and the so-called unconscious man gave each other a high five. A nerd that makes 10x your salary, son. Stay in school. You could stay in school until you're dead you're not gonna be a doctor. Um. I was on a 24 hour road rally scavenger hunt, and we got caught in a long traffic backup in the middle of the night on a mountain road that had been obstructed by a severe collision. One of the first vehicles at the accident site was another team in our game, comprised of neurosurgery residents. They stabilized the accident victims until the medevac helicopter arrived, then resumed the game. I like to tell this story about how, when I was on a flight to Amsterdam someone was feeling ill, disoriented or something, so her partner asked if there was a doctor on board, no one answered. Turns out most of the passengers were flying to a robotics conference in Amsterdam. What a coincidence huh? Lady on the beach, broke her arm my dad had recently got his doctorate and excitedly replies yes, to is anyone here a doctor, has a doctor of philosophy. Help they are dying. We are all dying.